Looks good, huh? Adam, does it look good? <laughs> right into it. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Audrey and I am a special needs mom to Autumn who has Down syndrome and autism. And I'm also a fit mom. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today Autumn and I are going to be making mini pumpkin pies. Stay tuned for that. So you guys, I'm gonna show you how to do a grilled cheese sandwich in the air fryer. I sometimes crave a grilled cheese sandwich, so I use my low calorie bread and I just use American cheese. Obviously you could use cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese would probably be better, but I don't have any cheddar cheese, so. And I'm just gonna use this to save some more calories and I'll show you guys how we do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, I can't believe it's not better, spray and spray the bread generously so it gets a good crisp to it once you put it in the air fryer. I'm also preheating the air fryer at 350 for five minutes. So that's what you guys hear in the background. Okay, so I had put some cooking spray in the bottom of that. I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna do it for 350 for five minutes. And I did preheat this ahead of time. And there you have it. It's gonna come out delicious. I don't know about you guys, even though it's hot, I love soup, especially tortilla soup. This is just from Target. And I was gonna put it into a bowl, but I'm like too lazy. So it's gonna stay in this container. I do eat soup sometimes. This entire container is only 240 calories, so that's not too bad. All right, I'm just saying it's done. I think it needs a little longer. So I'm gonna do it like two more minutes because it's not quite done yet. All right. I still think it needs a little longer, but I'm gonna take it out because I have to go pick up Andy in a little bit and we'll see if the cheese is melted on the inside. Very crunchy. Looks like the middle is very, still moist. So I think I'd cook it a little longer. And the inside is very melted. I would say cook it a little longer. I didn't preheat the air fryer for enough time, but it's still good. It's still good. The cheese is melted. The crust is crunchy. It will be perfect with my soup. Really good. You guys should try grilled cheese in the air fryer. We're going to make mini pumpkin pies today and we're going to be using crust, sugar, evaporated milk, pumpkin, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, a little bit of salt, and two eggs. First thing I'm gonna do is preheat the air fryer for 320 for 10 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna put the salt. Salt, put it in. 
Be very gentle, okay? Do you need help? Oh. I think it's bugging you because of the... Okay, oh. next you're gonna do is mix it. You ready? Don't go like that, okay? I'm just gonna throw in some cinnamon and some pumpkin spice. So it don't have to be like exact. <laughs> Keep stirring. Good job. Here, mommy help. Ready? Round and round and round. Good job. Gotta get it really mixed up. There you go. I'm do it. Go. Like mommy showed you, around and around. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like she got sunburned today at school. Doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. You look a little sunburned. Okay, next part's gonna be kinda hard. We're gonna actually put it into the little crust thing, okay? Just wait. We're gonna take, watch mommy, okay? We're gonna put it in the cup, like this. And then we're gonna put it in, okay? That's it, easy peasy. Okay, Autumn try? Okay. Okay. I want you to try it by yourself. Good job. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Okay, wait. Yeah, don't make a mess. The more you put in, then the longer it's gonna to take to cook, so we don't wanna overfill too much. Okay? <laughs> job. Okay, what's next? Gotta get the plastic over there. Okay, ready? I'm gonna have a lot left over. Oh boy, boy. There you go. That's perfect, actually. Mom, you want me to do the last one or does not want to do it? Are you all done? <sighs> More, okay. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Good job, Autumn! Woo! Yay. High five! Wow. Okay, now we're gonna put them in the oven, but I'm gonna actually do it. Come here, I'll show you how to do it. So you just put them in and you got 320 for eight minutes. We'll see if it actually comes out though. Uh, and time, eight minutes. I feel like it's gonna need longer, but we'll see. I don't think they're cooked all the way. Maybe. Hard to tell. Gotta stick a little thing in it. Yeah, it came out though. 12 minutes. I stuck my finger in that one on accident, but they look good. They look really good. Hopefully Autumn will eat it. All right, Autumn. That looks really good. Mommy's gonna put whipped cream on it, okay? Does that sound good? Ooh, that looks good. I think Autumn's gonna like her pie. There's a spoon for your pie. Like Once you finish pie. your beans. <laughs> She's such a good girl about eating her beans. Good job, Autumn. I told her when she bends her beans, she eat the pie. Well, time if you had beans and pie. Yeah. She's so good about eating her vegetables. Good job, Autumn. I think you're gonna like the pie. Here, do you want mommy to clean up, clean up? Oh yeah, eat your last one. Good job. And then drink your drink. When you can taste your pie, and you can let me know if it's good or not. <laughs> Looks good, huh? Autumn, does it look good? <laughs> right into it. Autumn. All Is it good? <laughs> Autumn loved it, huh? Can you show me a thumbs up? Say good. Dang. Autumn, show me good. Mm. Is it two thumbs up good? Mm. I ate mine too. It was delicious. Mmm, very good. So Autumn is doing so amazing with the cooking. I didn't tell you guys about last week, but I did volunteer in her class last Friday and she did not like it. <laughs> she was pretty much like, mom, get away from me. Mom, leave me alone. Even though she can't use words, all of her actions were showing she did not want me there. She did okay like when the class wasn't in the room with us because there's like a big kitchen they have. They have like a full kitchen with 
a fridge and an oven and all the things you would need for a kitchen. And we were in there starting the spaghetti because we made spaghetti and meatballs and we also made cookies and Texas toast. And she was doing okay when the class wasn't there and she was cooperating and she was putting the ingredients in and helping me. But the minute the class came in, she was like, mom, get out of here. Leave me alone. Don't look at me. Don't be near me. <laughs> she sat on the floor and started crying at one point and was like, you could tell she did not want me there which is very common. She acts like a typical teenager. Your teenager doesn't want you around, doesn't want you in your classroom. <laughs> and it was obvious. I will be planning to help out more in her classroom. And I'm hoping that the more times I go, the more she'll get used to it and she won't be as upset. <laughs> That's the hope anyway. I did officially start decorating. I'm hoping that will be the next video I will share with you guys. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Like I said, lots more videos to come. So stay tuned. So I was going to kind of show you guys how I did it. I took these garden stakes and I obviously hammered them into the ground. And then I had some cable ties that I attached to 